Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sage Lewis coming to you from the Search Engine Strategy Show in Toronto, and I am here with none other than Mr. Marty Weintraub. How's it going, Marty? Dude, baby Dude. boy, rocking. Man, you feeling it? I feel, I feel the love. You feel it. Dude, there's so much. Look, look at, look how much love there is know, in this room. Man, it's everywhere. It's look everywhere. How much, look how much love there is in this room. I think it's Toronto, man. It's, it's a, it's a loving city. You know what's really fun is that Toronto is actually farther south than Duluth, Minnesota. You're actually in the southern uh, hemisphere right now, comparatively. Like I get on a plane, and the sum total of it is I go south. So, uh, since since y y I just had the pleasure of having you in the audience when I spoke at SES Toronto for like an hour, yes. top three takeaways I need to remember for myself. Yes. Top, what did you take out of that? What did yeah. you take out of yeah, that yeah, session? Yeah. So, I think for me, uh, you know what really blew my mind? The Google Facebook retargeting mashup, really awesome. I mean, you want to talk a little bit about what you were talking about there? Yeah, yeah. Credit uh, my friend Will to Will Scott, W two Scott, for turning us onto it. But uh, since Google is willing to set a retargeting cookie in most any page you ask them to, you could drive a user from a Facebook ad with a highly specific demographic segment set a retargeting cookie and then follow users around the double click layer of targeting also segmented by Facebook ads. It is, it's sick, it's awesome. It works the, but it works the other, and it's really interesting when you think about um, really broad things versus really precise things. Yeah. Like you could set something really wacky like interested in youth hostels in Facebook and you could go for a broad travel interest in the display network or you could uh, be very broad, travel in the display, or, or you, you could reverse them. It doesn't matter which side you set it on. It's just that any channel that comes into uh, uh, a page where you set a Google retargeting cookie leaves behind an imprint of the, demo, the source demographic segment if you segment your ads enough. Yeah. So it, you said at least maybe a couple times in a couple different ways. It's, it's not, you know, the problem isn't Facebook. Facebook isn't the problem. You just don't know how to use Facebook. It's a, it's a marketing problem now. Like, uh, treat Facebook like a subscription channel. Draw metric analogies to old generations of email. And um, then use Facebook ads properly, including the use of mashing up demographic targeting and other channels. Yeah. And, like, the, it's not that social media, the largest sampling of humans, what, in the history of the world then? Right. Um, of biblical proportions, at pound epic. Yeah. Like um, it's just that as a, like as a community of marketers, we haven't totally, like the marketing community at large hasn't risen to use it. Yeah. But you can do amazing things. Yeah. So I mean, you are you are a master of targeting, demographic targeting. Uh, but I think people don't, you know, maybe maybe even if they learn how to do what you're talking about. I, I still feel that there is a disconnect in how to reach, how to talk to Facebook users in a meaningful way. I mean, even if they're master targeters, the messaging that they send is still crap a lot of times. Wouldn't you agree? That's not a Facebook problem. That's a marketer problem. But but we still have to somehow help those people, right? I mean, they like, you know, they... The, be the best way to get people to like you is to do likable things. The best way to uh, the best way to get people to friend you is to be friendly. Yes. The uh, the it's it's like it, it's really kindergarten stuff. Just like what, even when you do paid advertising, find ways to be together with the people. Like say things that they understand. Yeah. Like use the it right. We have to undergo a fundamental shift in how we think about it. And what's really cool is. It's, it's a lot like life. Search is only one part of it. Listen, there's been display targeting since people put things on hockey boards or baseball stadiums or wrote things on the wall in caves. Yes. Like display targeting is not new and the marketing challenges surrounding display are not new either. Look, I need to move them from the PTA meeting to the symphony sponsorship, right? Yes. right that, that transcends how I speak to them at the PTA meeting, really. I mean, I suppose there's technique in that, but it's more like I go, when you join the symphony, we give 20% of the money to kids who don't have enough money to eat. Yeah. Right, right. It's, like, it's so, so basic. Yeah. So, so, so the, the issue is really just not, you know, it's not Facebook. It's not these platforms that may or may not work. The platforms are amazing. It's the, it's the marketer that doesn't know necessarily how to work the medium. Would you say that's ultimately the issue? 
Well, it was certainly the case for myself over the years where, I mean, every, everything from lack of success to backlash to um, being welcomed among the friendly natives. Well, with that, we should close. I got to catch a flight, big brother. Right on. All right, Marty Weintraub, it is always a pleasure. I would go anywhere to see you. You are amazing. You bring such life and vitality to this industry and uh, a great contributor uh, intellectually as well. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, I'm, I'm fond of what you share, too. I think you're a smart marketer person. I like you, what you do. So thanks for your contributions to the community as well. Wow, my pleasure. All right, everybody, this has been Sage Lewis at Search Engine Strategies Toronto with Mr. Marty Weintraub. Have a great day.